My client Barbara is coming today and normally she is very open to different nail art ideas and designs that we do. So I asked her, what do you want to do today? And she said, I have no idea. I know that you're going to create something special for me. My only suggestion is that if we can do overlay on natural nails, because now my nails are long enough, I don't want extensions anymore, let's just do gel polish. We certainly can do that, but what kind of design? Even though I normally have plenty of ideas in my head, sometimes my creative mind just goes blank. And this box is designed specifically for situations like this. Selena Ryden, a good friend of mine, gave me this deck of cards that she created herself. It includes ideas that can help you to come up with the design. It can choose shape, color, design elements. And what I love about these cards is that they do not limit you to the exact design, like you would randomly pick on Pinterest, because sometimes you pick a specific design and you and your clients are like, meh, I don't want to do this exact one it still gives you enough space for some creative freedom, which is just perfect for me. So let's get started. Hello guys, this is Anastasia and let the fun begin. Barbara is about to pick the card with a nail shape and I hope that she's going to pick one that is going to work for her natural nails and luckily she did, square shape. So she had some old product on, so we took it off and then we simply did this short square on her natural nails. So then I'm going to do some prep, apply dehydrator and non-acid primer and gel polish base coat. Next, we were about to pick the color and the design. And I love that the cards are not super specific about the color as well as design, so you still have some options to choose from. There are so many different colors on the cards and you definitely do not need to use all of these colors. It really depends on the style and design that you chose. But she picked the one with pink shades, which means we can go from hot pink, from Barbie pink to the light pink. We decided to do a Barbie pink color because this is such a big trend now. And after picking the color, it's time to pick the design. There are two different types of cards for the design. On once you will only see words. So you need to read them and think of the ideas and associations you have with these words and create design according to it. So it doesn't give you the exact directions for the design. I was secretly hoping that she will not pick the card with the flowers design because I don't really like doing those. But she picked the one that gives different options such as stone, elegant, encapsulated 3D and crystals. And finally, she is going to pick the card that includes some images and ideas. And you can also create them in different ways. They doesn't have to be hand painted necessarily. You can use stamping or anything else. So she picked the one in boho style. At this point, I got very excited because she picked a nice one, I think. And there are so many different ideas that you can create from these words. I'm sure if you give the same cards to a different nail technician, the outcome will be completely different. But Barbara decided that probably I do not have enough challenges in my nail art life and decided to give me another one. She said that she is in a hurry and she needs to leave in one hour. My brain was about to generate some really cool complicated design, but since I had this additional challenge to create something that matches these cards, but at the same time, at a very limited time, I was like, okay, let's take a look at this card again, what kind of symbols we have there, maybe I still can do something. Some of her nails will be fully covered in Barbie pink color and nothing else, but on some nails we're still going to add some design and I'm covering them in half. I'm using a detailer brush and a gel polish to do this, while some parts of her nails will remain blank and I think it's totally fine with her nails because they have this beautiful, natural, healthy color, so it's totally fine. When I was working with clients full time, it was a very typical situation for me, honestly. I mean, it happened a lot when we were doing nails and my clients were just telling me, oh, I have a very limited time, so let's do something, but I have a very important meeting, so you need to create something nice. 
while you have limited time. And for these purposes, I always keep a lot of different nail art accessories because I think they save your time a lot and they always look great, such as foils, glitters, and of course, stickers, because you can create almost any kind of image when you're using stickers and save a lot of time compared to if you have to hand paint them. But the problem was I didn't really seem to have any stickers with the crystals like we had on this card. Then finally I remembered that I do have a stickers with a half moon. It is white, so maybe we can use a white dot so it is going to look complete with the whole design. So I added some dots of the different size. I'm using the gel polish and detailer brush. And by the way, since we are playing by the rules, it says that you can use any element that is shown on this card and on that card we did have some dots. They are located between the images and they have the different size, so I think I did follow the rule, right? You can also use a dotting tool to create the same design, but with the dotting tool the problem is once you take the product on it, it's not really going to hold that much product compared to a brush. And also you don't need to flash cure any of those dots, you can just put them all and then fully cure once you're done with one nail and while you're curing this nail, then you can continue working with the opposite hand. So we ended up having a few nails that have only Barbie pink background and few nails with a design with the white dots. And since I only have one half moon on my sticker set, let's add it on the pinky. I'm using a clear stamper to locate it exactly where I would like to. I don't think I would ever think of combining a Barbie pink color with the white, but this is how it turned out and I think it looks pretty nice. Then we seal it with a glossy top coat and cure for 60 seconds in LED and this is the final look. Nail art created by following Selena Ryden's nail cart with additional challenge of a limited time. Let me guys know what do you think. I will leave the links to the cards in the description box and thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you on my next one. Goodbye!